Look up tonight at the constellation Orion, and you'll see a red giant on his shoulder. Betelgeuse. This star is so large, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars if it were in our solar system. Astronomers are watching it. Because Betelgeuse is about to die. And the moment it goes, it's going to change our night sky forever. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a colossal star that has burned through most of its fuel. It's destined to end its life in a cataclysmic-type supernova explosion. Since Betelgeuse is roughly 650 light-years away, there's a good chance it already exploded centuries ago. And its death flash is simply traveling across space to reach us. When the light arrives, it will become the brightest celestial event in modern history. For months, the supernova will shine in our sky with the brilliance of a half-moon, easily visible even in broad daylight. That is why NASA monitors it constantly, not out of fear of destruction, but out of excitement for an unprecedented scientific opportunity. In late 2019, Betelgeuse suddenly and dramatically dimmed, losing almost two-thirds of its brightness. The event, dubbed the Great Dimming, led to global speculation. Was this the final moment? NASA's Hubble and other telescopes rushed to investigate and solve the mystery. The dimming wasn't the star's core collapsing. Instead, Betelgeuse had suffered a massive surface mass ejection, literally blowing off a huge bubble of hot plasma. As this material moved away from the star, it cooled and condensed into a large dust cloud, temporarily blocking our view. This event, far from being the end, actually taught astronomers crucial new information about how these giant stars shed mass before they truly explode. So, is NASA actually scared? No. Betelgeuse is too far away. At 650 light-years, its radiation will pose zero threat to life on Earth. But when this massive star finally ignites, it will be the scientific event of the century. Keep looking up, because any day now, we might witness a spectacular celestial phenomenon that has been 650 years in the making.